everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, 
sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations 
from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. 
so today this is why we call it we call this exercise a commencement exercise it's not the end of our studies it's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning with modules with floods with earthquakes and of course with covid it's a commencement of doors opening to you more doors will be open because you are a graduate you can work you can proceed for further studies you can help your parents and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work whether at advanced studies whether at learning more in science and technology in mathematics and in the arts all of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened i hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges congratulations once more to each and every one of you congratulations to you parents and family members congratulations to you teachers when i was chair of the board of siliman university each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself i would cry i would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate we want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open and so we tell you go out to the world do whatever you want to do god be with you and be sure be assured that all of us love each and every one of you congratulations The school year 2020-2021 will forever be etched in the minds and hearts of every Filipino learner as the time when education took a drastic change. The classroom suddenly was no longer the physical structure in the school, but the virtual platform on the internet or a learning space at home. Teaching did not include any more the chalk and the blackboard, but distance learning activities like online classes, radio and TV-based instruction, and self-learning modules. And yes, the teacher was not only limited to sir and madam, but it also meant the learners, parents, and guardians at home. COVID-19 has definitely changed the landscape of the teaching and learning process. Yet, with our collective resolve and resiliency, which is uniquely Filipino, we vowed not to let this pandemic stop us from making learning happen, from ensuring that our children get an education. Through the DepEd Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, we operationalized and concretized our vision and mission that our pursuit of quality education must continue despite the pandemic. My dear graduates, completers, and academic awardees of school year 2020-2021, you are the products of this unique period in our nation's education history 
when we were faced with a tremendous challenge in our learning delivery. Difficult as it may be, you still manage to survive and overcome the hurdles and obstacles owing to your adaptability and creativity. This alone makes you winners, game changers, and trail blazers. To our school leaders, teachers, parents, and other stakeholders who continue to brave the imminent danger posed by the COVID-19 virus to their health and their lives every day, just to make sure that our children do not stop from learning, you are the unsung heroes and frontliners of DepEd's mantra of Sulong Edukalidad. Our dear partners in education who have given immense support to our schools, we did not only push through with the school year. We made sure that our children receive quality learning in the face of these trying times. Strengthening the quality education amid the COVID-19 pandemic is not simply about the use of various distance learning delivery modalities. It speaks about the essentials that you continuously embody, such as your generosity and dedication for education. To encapsulate it in one word, it speaks about our common goal to provide the learning opportunities for our children amidst these trying times. Many years and decades from now, our dear batch 2020-2021, when you will look back at this day of your graduation, completion ceremony or recognition day, you will most certainly remember it with the most unique memory. For one, your day will probably be recorded in perpetuity because it happened in a virtual ceremony. Please do not look at this as a scarcity, but rather as a living testimony of your ability to rise above any adversity. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless and guide you. Isang taus-pusong pagpati sa inyong lahat, mga magisip pagtapos, mga magulang, mga guro, at mga kaibigan. Nais ko rin ipaabot ang aking pasasalamat sa pakikiisa sa panawagan ng DepEd na ituloy natin ang edukasyon sa kabila ng pandemya. Kaya natin ito. At ngayon nga, ang pagtatapos at pagtataas ng antas ay narating natin. Ang taglay ninyong kaalaman ngayon ay bunga ng inyong pagsisikap. Natamon ninyo ang kabuuan ng inyong edukasyon, hindi lamang sa araling pinmahagi namin sa inyo, kundi maging sa mga naiambag ng inyong mga magulang o tagapamalaga. Gayun din ang iba't ibang karnasan sa loob ng silid-aralan noong wala pang pandemya, sa komunidad at higit sa lahat sa inyong mga tahanan. Ang mga nakasalamuhan ninyo ay nagdagdag din sa inyong pangunawa. Matagal-tagal na rin ang pandemya nito at hindi pa tayo nakakatiyak kung kailan na eksaktong petsa na ito ay titigil. Subalit yak na ang mga pagbabarong mananatili sa ating mga buhay. Naudlot ang progreso ng bayan. Nagkaroon ng naibang estratehiya sa kalaalan, pamumuhay, at pagtanaw sa hinaharap. Lalo pang pinatingkad ng mga ito ang kahalagahan ng isang dekalidad na edukasyon na titiyak na tayo'y makakaagapay sa mga pagbabago. Nananawagan ako sa bawat isa. Ang kaalaman ay kinakailangan maging angkop sa kahingian ng nagbabago. Natututo ang tao, hindi lamang sa loob ng silid-aralan. Maging mapagmasid at gamitin ang natutunan sa pagtuklas ng panibagong karunungan. Maging matiyaga, darating ang panahon 
na ang kakailanganin niyong kaalaman at kasanayan ay inyong gagamitin. Kaya, gamitin niyo ang panong ito upang makaipon ng mga nasabing kaalaman. Tandaan niyo sa inyo nakasalalay ang kinabukasan ng ating bayan. Pagbalain tayo ng poong may kapal. Tanggapin niyo ang malugod kong pagbati sa napakahalagang yugto ng inyong buhay. Ang inyong pagtatapos. Ang pagtatapos ay isa sa mga inaabangan at kinasasabi ka ng lahat. Una ng inyong mga magulang at mahal sa buhay. Pangalawa ang inyong mga naging pangalawang magulang, ang inyong mga guro at opisyales ng ating kwela. At higit sa lahat, kayo. Kayo na nagsikap at nagpagal upang sumapit sa yugtong ito. Kumaasa kami na naibigay namin ang edukasyon na inyong kailangan. At naihanda namin kayo ng buong pusay sa kabila ng pandemya ang ating kinakaharap. At naaway, maayos ninyong napagtagumpayan ang mga hamon ng pagbabago nito. Ang tema ng ating pagdiriwang na kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, ay nagpapaalala lamang sa napakahalagang papel ng edukasyon. Dahil sa edukasyon, lalo nating nadarama at nakikita ang misyon natin bilang isang tao. Ang misyon na itinanim sa ating mga puso, buhat pa ng tayo ay likhain ng ating Panginoon. Ang maging pagpapala sa iba, lalo na sa mga kapwa natin na higit na nangangailangan. Ang temang ito ay isang paalala sa ating lahat na ang layunin ng edukasyon na ipakita sa ating mga mag-aaral na maganda ang buhay. Lagi sana ninyong makita ang kagandahan ng paligid sa kabila ng mga pagsubok na ating nararanasan. Maging tulay na wa kayo at gamitin ang inyong lakas at talino sa paglilingkod sa inyong kapwa. Matuto tayong maging mapagbigay at laging bukas Puso at isipan upang sama-sama nating tawirin ang mahirap nating pinagdaraan. Walang maiiwan sa pandemyang ito kung paiiralin ang pusong mapagmahal. Taglay ninyo ang lakas at talino, ang kaisipan, gamitin ninyo ito sa pagmamahal. Pagmamahal sa sarili, pagmamahal sa kapwa, at higit sa lahat, pagmamahal sa ating bayan. Sa inyong pagtatapos, laging tandaan na ang mundo na inyong ginagalawan ay puno ng magagandang bagay. At ang COVID-19 ay isa lamang sa mga pagsubok. Subalit ito ay hindi hadlang upang ipakita ang naipunlang buti na edukasyon sa inyong mga puso ay lalong magtingin. Dahil kayo ay napanday at naihanda namin upang matupad ninyo ang misyon na nakaatang sa inyong balikan. Sa aming mga minamahal na mga guro at mga kawani ng mga paaralan, salamat sa inyo. Salamat at naging handa tayo. Dahil sa inyo, nagpatuloy at magpapatuloy ang edukasyon. Magpapatuloy ang ating bukasyon na tayo bilang guro ay nagkapagpuno ng mga kakulangan sa buhay ng ating mga mag-aaral. At sa huli, Masabi nila sa kanilang sarili na minsan sa buhay nila ay may isang guro na naniwala at nagsikap upang maubot niya ang kanyang mga pangarap. Muli ang aking pagbati at panalangin sa bawat isa na ah, maging pagpapala. Maging pagpapala tayo at patuloy ang laban. Patuloy lamang na magtiwala na ang edukasyon ang susi sa magandang buhay. Mga batang aakyat sa susunod na antas, taong panuroan 2020-2021. Pangkat Genis Bernard M. Pangilan Jr. Harry S. Posses 
Xavier B. Potenciano. Rain Rio B. Reyes. Summer Rio B. Reyes. Slash Ali El Sabula. Neil Michael R. Sanidad. Jericho P. Sebastian. Prince Eloj A. Glenbrook. Jacob G. Vicencio. AJ B. Vicente. Natalia Brian Camila. Jubel Cuenca. Serena Riley G. Jesus. Juliana R. Dizon. Jonna May A. Estrada. Margo Beatriz G. Ferrer. Ariana C. Mendez. Altea Nicole B. Monzon. Ronaline B. Morillo. Crystal Jane T. Mosho. LJ Art of Galisco. Cristina Angela M. Ramos. Aina Clay T. Velasquez. Mga batang aakyat, susunod na antas. Taong panuruan ng dalawang libo, dalawang pin, dalawang libo, dalawang pin, isa. Pangkat, yang doon. Batang aakyat sa susunod na antas. Taong panuruan 2020-2021. Pangkat, Hamburg.
Alden C. Alom. King Jovan C. Kayanan. Eric V. Cruz. Prince William V. De La Porta. Zep Calix C. Jimenez. Jess Carl D. C. Marquez. Prince Dominic P. Nakar. Charles Stephen A. Nipong Senu. John Carlo T. Neri. General L. Pacheco. Nathan Lee M. Valencia. Nika Kalyal. Fred Siley R. Figueroa. Samantha Nicole B. Manalini. Maxine A. Regelon. Mga batang aakyat sa susunod na antas. Saong paniruan 2020-2021, Pangkat Valerio. Ian Chester B. Alfaro. Prince Gillian B. Kakuko Richard I. Kakuko Raven Axel A. Centeno Jarrell Dane P. Spiritu Prince Ayayib B. Gonzalez Chris Macho G. Nipo Maseno Dale Jemerix D. Season Matt Ivan A. Tambor Renz Dave Tumol Crystal D. Bernardo Green S. Domingo Afa Shena B. Fajardo Julia Clevis B. Gonzalez Martea Fiel B. J. Martín Mojica Dame S. Pacheco Glyzel Mel B. Asquad Sephira Luis M. Sudi Princess K. P. Khan Chanel Anilis A. Trinidad Mga batang aakyat sa susunod na antas, taong panuruan 2020-2021, Pangkat Briones. Marvin I. Agustin John Matthew M. Balintag Brent Jacob M. Batarina Jam Matthew R. De La Cruz Nomer C. Dionisio Chris Alexis A. Marcelo
Mark Angelo C. Mercado Calix D.C. Pangilinan Prince Carl A. Ramos John Albert M. Verdillo Eljan Simon L. Vergara Alia Faith M. Kapindian Sarah R. Centinero Queen Adriana Chloe V. Sifra Marisa B. Del Campo Lilibeth A. Lopez Janine D.C. Malaluan Queen Chaldea V. Patricio Jubel A. Ramos Mga batang aakyat sa susunod na antas, taong panuruan 2020-2021 pangkat rubi. Cedric G. Apilado Jonar Jr. V. Bardahe Prince Ayu S. Bondo Berhel A. Cas James Matthew C. Dosejo Red Wesley F. Flores Rome Kaiser for G. Lakangan Jacob M. De Jesus Diane A. Geronimo Kesha May Gonzalez Kim Kyra R. Inigo Zyra May B. Labonite Princess Rylin P. Malubay Jana Andrea S. Mempian Althea Natalie B. Palaganas Lovi C. Sumera Maika Colleen C. Taya Ashlyn N. Valenzuela Alam po ng pamunuan ng aming paaralan at mga guro. Taos po sa binabati namin ang mga nagsipagtapos, ang kanilang mga magulang at mga gurong pumatnubay. Lubos po kaming nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng mga magulang na siyang naging katuwang namin sa taong ito upang maitaguyod ang pagtuturo sa mga bata. Mabuhay po kayong lahat!